What's going on, YouTube? It's Cheek Text Films, your tour guide on the road to elevating your image. And on this channel, I like to highlight my ups and downs so you can capitalize off of my wins and suffer none of my losses. If that's something you're interested in, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos. All right. Today, man, I got a dance video coming in. Elaine coming in. She's doing another dance video. Um, I really want to get into dance videography. So uh, I picked Elaine to be my muse. Uh, I got her working on one every week, trying to keep her motivated so she can keep me motivated. And uh, just really try out these new things that I got in my brain that I know will work. I just need to execute them. So on this shot right here, with all the videos, man, the, as you can see, the studio is not narrow, but um, I want to get her from her head to her feet in this shot. And um, I can't really do it, man. I think I'm going to have to move the table eventually. But uh, for today, I'm just using the uh, I'm using the 20 millimeter on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera for the wide shot. And because it's wide, I want to keep it somewhat uh somewhat level so uh i'm stationary but at the same time i want to be able to move with her if she hits the floor or something like that so i'm, I'm handheld and instead of uh instead of using the tripod to add a little bit of movement and excitement to it because it's a dance video but uh, at the same time like i said i want to get be able to get from her head to her feet and i can't do it with the way that the studio is situated now but we gonna get it. We got enough of it, man. You know, like I said, I'm a handheld, so I can go from her head to her feet just using movements. Right now, we reviewing the footage, and then we getting back to work. So on this shot right here, um, I decided to handheld this shot, still using the Black Magic Pocket Cinema camera, and this uh, 20 millimeter 1.7 pancake lens that I got on the Black Magic. But this lens on has stabilization in the lens, so uh, my micro jitters ain't in it too much with this with this setup. And I find myself being drawn to this setup because it has a 1.7 aperture I can blur out the background, but at the same time get a lot of light. And uh, the glass is decent, so uh, it's hard for me to take this lens off of the camera, man. You know. A lot of these other lenses, like the 45, would give me the lens compression, but um, with my feet, I can either get a wide shot or walk in and get a close-up, man, and it looks good to me, so uh, I haven't found a reason to, to really take this, this lens off of my camera. It's my favorite lens right now. And if you want to get it, man, then the, you can uh, use the link in the description and get it from Amazon, man, you know, through my Amazon affiliates link, and, uh, you can shoot the same shots I got. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, just playing, man. But uh, yeah, this is my favorite lens right now. And I can't find one that's better, man, for the Micro Four Thirds system. To me, this pancake lens is good for the price. Now, I ain't gonna say it's the best thing out there, but for me, I'm on the budget. I ain't got a lot of money to spend on glass right now. Eventually, I wanna get some cinema glass, but uh, I'm really going to have to see a big difference between this and the glass that I decide to get because this glass right now is amazing. So, again, Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera handheld on with the uh, 20 millimeter pancake Panasonic lens on the camera, man. So, yeah, man, this is just a, a quick behind the scenes of this video that me and Elaine put together video should be dropping on the channel soon uh, if you like what you see make sure you subscribe to the channel click the notification bell so you don't miss any more videos i'm out but y'all y'all keep them cameras rolling